Last week on the Battle for Cash, the first task had the team's creative juices working overtime. They were asked to make money without money. <laughs> In the end, Team Alpha and Omega Investment Club lost the battle and went back home to Kitgum. Alpha and Omega, unfortunately, this is the end of the journey. Tonight, Team Hustlers and the Roaring Lions face off in a race against time to make money without money. At the end of the task, one investment club will be eliminated. Who will go and who will stay? Coming up on the Battle for Cash. This is the Battle for Cash Season 2. Fifteen clubs are still in the running to win the prize money of 30 million, 20 million, 15 million shillings and lots of other cash prizes, plus a study tour to Nairobi and one year of business advisory services from Price Waterhouse Coopers. Each week, the judges will set a task set for the teams to execute. The contestants will win as a team, but accumulate points as individual investment clubs. So everyone in the team has got to pull their weight on each given task. Should they not, they will be making a grave mistake that could cost them millions. You know, because you're here, it gets harder as you go. I think you know that. What I have here is envelopes. Each week, you'll be given a task. Now, that task should be easy depending on how hard you work and how smart you work. You must showcase your leadership skills, communication skills, um, your business acumen, because at the end of the day, you're investment clubs. You must make money, right? So depending on each task, you must figure out how to work together. I want you to remember two things. One, that you win as a team, but you accumulate points for your individual investment club. You will have a moment to brainstorm. Right now, the two teams are coming up with the winning strategy. One has got to, to resort to, create, to creative ways of making money, even without large sums of capital. You are first task, therefore, to make money without money. The team which makes the most money out of nothing wins, and the team that makes the least money will be the loser. In this competition, time is of the essence. Every minute counts and could cost you millions. Teams have strictly 30 minutes to brainstorm before heading out. I have a camera here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all these group members would love to have photographs taken from this room for the battle for cash competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, can, can we take? Can I take? Can we take photographs of these members and sell the sell these photos Even to them? Team hustlers have figured out what they want to do. We are going to do our best to look for the customers who will buy our water and soda. We are the winners. 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 Team hustlers, are we? We are going. We have not said something. The Lions do not have a concrete strategy, but head out anyway. They continue brainstorming in the car. Do you have any ideas? If you can give us some ideas. Just let's stop a bit, eh? So, so that we finalize our strategy. Otherwise, we'll end up driving the whole of Kampala. Yes. Then we'll come back with okay. My brother, going into a school first time, the, uh, who is going to accept you in there, first of all? Then, yes. second of all, you yes. can't go to the school and tell them I'm going to sweep. They already have cleaners and everything there. Yes. Let us just approach this businessman here who have come to make business.
planning is better. Planning but, is better so that, that that is the, that I, I mean that is one idea we have. When I called mm. my yes, team at the farm, yes. they told me today we are planting coffee. Yes. So if you think this idea can't work, mm. we can go there and we help them plant. And but then, just know yeah. they are going to pay us okay. two hundred. Okay. 200 Pa, 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 pa what? Pa, pa, plant. Pa, pa plant into the soil. And, and I don't it, know whether that is sufficient to, to generate enough farm, enough And how far is it? And that is not investment. We have it's, a it's a service. It's a service. It's a service. service. It's a service. Remember, we are, uh, I mean the task. They are telling us we are making money without Money. Yes. We are offering a service to that. Yes. So, so if you are saying? thinking in terms of service, What he is saying, yes. we go to Karerwe mm. market. Yes. We approach the sellers, yes. mm. we, we see the price they are mm. selling the commodities, mm. Mm. we talk to them, mm. we help them sell and we get a commission. Okay. Yes. Okay. So maybe... Any idea? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What margins are we looking at? Yeah. What margins are we looking at? Because they, they, yeah. they because say... Because to be competitive mm. at the end of the day. Mm. Then uh, again, uh, me what I propose, Mm. is that we have to reach out to the people. These people, most of the people who have the money, mm. they come with cars. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you give a service to a person mm -hmm. coming out of the car, yes. you give that reception, mm -hmm. then direct them, try to inquire what they want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is an extra thing which is not within. Mm -hmm. It's not within Kaleri. Yes. People jump out and they go straight to their stores. I think your this idea is very good. Mm -hmm. So we talk to the vendors, yes. Yes. so the idea is coming. Yes. We have agreed. We go to Karere Market. Time check is 11 a.m. Both teams are now out to make money out of nothing. The hustlers are in Boise and the Lions are in the bustling Karere Market. Team hustlers has arrived at the soda depot and are now convincing the shop attendant to give them merchandise on credit. Unsure about the team hustler's intentions, the shop attendant calls his manager. We are about to for cash from, from NTV in the respect of DFCU Bank. We have come here so that you can give us this product of yours on credit. Then we go and sell and we bring back the money. Because we are in a competition, we have to make money without money. Please, are you able to give us your products on credit and bring back the money? Since you have explained to me the idea and the reason, we have accepted to give you our products. You go and sell it out on credit, then you bring back the money later after you have sold it. Thank you very much. I mean, God bless you. Shall I bring back the money? Please, you promise. It's a green light for Team Hustlers. We are very lucky. That we have been given the products on credit and now we go out there and sell, we make money and bring back their money. Make money without money, oh yeah! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Now let's go to the Matoke with the DC group. You said you have a customer. So we find out the price and then you call the other guy to come and buy. Yes. You call the customer. Yes. The Lions have found suppliers that have agreed to give them a commission after sale. Now they have to find clients to buy the Matoke, pineapple and other fresh produce from Kaleri Market. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. The tasks are designed to test individual strengths, business acumen, creativity, and endurance. But in most cases, success will depend on the ability to work together as a team. This one is going to venture into Mukene. Then this one will venture into Chicken and Matoke. Then we will collect back here at the, after two hours. Ronald in the Lions team has found clients for silverfish 
commonly known as Mukene. So this is the man I managed to make after making the thousand uh, item silver fish. So I'm paying the border border who transported me and bringing me back eight thousand. Did you manage to find the customers? Yeah, I managed to get uh, around uh, six customers, and uh, all of them they were able to buy silver fish of worth ten thousand, another one five thousand, another one managed to buy worth of uh, twenty. How were you 000. able to get uh, the silver fish? I didn't have money. Yeah, I didn't have money, but I used the security. One of my colleagues had a, a, a phone, and we used the security. The, the supplier interested us, and we gave him our phone. We gave her our phone, and she managed to give us the, the supply, which was the silver fish. We took silver fish worth of 60,000. So we managed to sell 40,000. Have you retrieved your phone yet? We are going to get it back. Yeah. So can we go and retrieve the phone? Nechi tundu, chiri ozova zemo nga sente meka, kari kenda, kati wano sente meka. Andi baba devina, kati? Yeah, yeah, kati. Ok, 9,000 diamonds, 4, mtuale 3, mkakaga, kati tujeko, gumunya. Gumusatu. Gumusatu, mui satu. Gumusatu. Biba devitano. Biba devitano? Eh, biba devitano, biba mtuale ya nachi tundu. Eh, nachi tundu. Kenda, kenda. Kenda, kenda. Here we are recovering back the security we used to collect the produce so which we supply to the customers. It's one o'clock. Team Hustlers is banking on the number of thirsty clients to make sales. <laughs> While Team Lions is banking on the pricing and commission. The Hustlers split up into teams and head different ways. Nous <laughs> In the spirit of divide and conquer, Peter and Patrick of Kabura Mayumba mushroom growers from Kabale have disappeared. And they cannot speak Luganda either. I was pissed off by the two colleagues who disappeared from us. And after we had sold all the sodas and the, and the water, they emerged with the again soda and water. Oh my God, <laughs> just like that. Uh, we, have, we were left behind uh, when we were convincing a certain customer and, uh, so, uh, and you had to leave us. Anyway, we had some customers who called us, and in the process of calling us, we went back and we started explaining to them what we are doing and what we need. And apparently, by the time when we left there, we, we were not able to see our friends. And actually, we had to get lost because we were traveling while not seeing our friends. I came here to produce these photos, and uh, I produced them for 15,000 each. 15,000, all of them, and each one of you will pay for 5,000 for each of the photos. I think all the members will pay for it. Okay, if you pay, we shall get our profit. And I've been in the field of uh, photo production for a while. So when they gave us this, uh, this non-cash challenge, I thought I may use the camera that I hold and maybe produce the photos, who are, which are at least at a low price and sell them at a price that can attract some more profit. I think I had the best team around. They were able to generate ideas. That was my best strength. The team which I had, they generated good ideas. We went out there and made money without money. It was very wonderful. 
In the lion's camp, all is not well either. The group that was supposed to sell Mukene seems to have made a loss. 5,300, that's the profit to manage what to make. 5,300? Yeah. So, ma'am, are you satisfied? I'm satisfied. Okay. But I'm not very satisfied because I was having a hope that they couldn't bring this one back. You said they would sell everything? Yeah. So, in me, like, have they wasted your time or what? Ah, no problem. Yeah. Instead of profit, we have made a loss of 4,700 for that transaction of them. Okay. He got 28. 26,800 and the lady was demanding 31,500 after deducting what was remaining. So we have ascertained there's a, a smaller loss on that transaction. Yes. Finally, good news in the lion's camp. The team has found a customer who wants to buy 150 chickens. Team leader, Lions, sends Elisa to manage that sale. and the teams have one hour to maximize and make it to the pit stop. Short of which they will be penalized, which means losing some of the money they painfully made from nothing. It's a race against time. Time check is 3.15 p.m. Team Hustlers is the first to make it to the pit stop. Team leader right here, your teammates over here. Okay. Oh, leave the team leader. She will talk to me alone. You oh. come here. <laughs> I come here? No, no, no. You're the team leader, you say. So how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? But you don't look like hustlers. We're hustlers. We're hustlers. You even hustled. We're hustlers. hustlers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so team leader of uh, Team Hustlers 2018. Yes. Yes. You were supposed to make money without money. Yes. I'm sure this was easy. It wasn't so easy, it wasn't so but easy. we made the money. <laughs> you seem happy about the money. We are happy there? about You're very happy. We are very happy. You're going to meet the judges. Uh, they'll ask all the questions about today. Please have all the facts mm -hmm. of what happened. And they might ask for a weak link. Someone who dragged the team. Think about it. Don't tell me. me don't tell me. <laughs> me. I think everyone did well yes. by the smiles. But you will have to answer to the judges. I'd like to hold the money for you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the Lions make it to the pit stop at 3.58 p.m. with just two minutes to spare. You were the second team yes. in. So you were on time, within time? On time. Within, within time? Yes. Within time? Yes. Yeah, but Joseph, what language did you use in Kalere market? Luganda and English. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you communicated well with them. Very well. Mm. In the beginning, they mm. were very suspicious. Yes. They had even to call their leader, the market leader, okay. and say, "Who are these people?" Mm. And we explained. Of course. We became friends. Good. We make friendship. They opened up. And they opened up. That's good. And then we started the working with them. So did you actually make money without money? Yes, you we did. did. We did. You, you, you sound very confident yes. in the yes. money. We did. Yes. Uh, yes. You're going to meet the judges and uh, you will explain what happened. Yes. It uh, might be tough because, of course, there's elimination. Exactly. So I'm hoping you actually made money without money. Yes. Do you have it? Yes, I do. Where's the money? And yes. <laughs> so well done. Yes. D do you have anyone you will report to the judges as the weak link? We did 17 transactions. Okay. And one transaction didn't go so well. well. But the other one okay. came successful. Mm. But as a team, you worked well. We worked well. It's good to remember because you win as a team anyway. Exactly. Well done. The yes. judges will wait to hear the story. Okay. Thank you. Next, the teams meet the judges for a post mortem. Find out how much they made after the break. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. Now is the time for the teams to meet the judges. Did they make enough money to keep them in the competition? Did they work as a team? Who is the weakest link in the team? 
These are the questions waiting to be answered as they get ready to present their strategies to the judges. The hustlers are the first to meet the judges for a postmortem. Welcome, Team Hustle. Uh, we want to hear what you did. After a discussion, we chose two main businesses we think they could help us to achieve this. The first one was hawking sodas and water in a serious, in a busy place. Because we know everybody has to drink at least a day. You have to drink a bottle of water or you can drink a bottle of soda. Second business we chose was photography. As I will come down here, below here, I will tell you why we chose photography. Because uh, when we are doing, we are doing a strategic, I mean business strategy. We were taught in the trainings of DFCU and NTV that you have to first utilize the resources you have as a team. And good enough, our members, we found one of our members was carrying a camera. And we said we have to utilize that first before we even look in other, uh, to other resources. A second uh, resource was that we had a home advantage. One of our members is born from a busiest town called Bwaise here. We know a lot of business operating and, uh, and even we could at least get a credit facility to start our business because we had nothing to do. Actually, we were wondering on where to start from. So that was the very best resource. Actually, I want to appreciate our business partners called the Just Link Peps Depot in Bwaise. They trusted us. Our leader negotiated. They trusted us uh, and they gave us the cap starting capital on credit. Four cartons of small sodas, the plastic sodas. Each carton was at 10,000. And they gave us also 500 mils soda, Mountain Dew. Uh, and that carton was at 15,000. So from there, we, we invaded the, the market. We stormed the market. But our target was the timber mirrors. Because we know the garages, the timber mirrors, that's the best market where everybody can be drinking any time. And even about the border stage, where... People are on sunshine to, uh, almost the, all over the, ten, the time. So on the money we made, um, we had made, uh, uh, it was uh, 85,000 income, both income and profit. What? And um, we gave 18,000 to the cameraman. So oh, thank you very much. Your time is up. Um, just to understand, because you are a group of eight people, and the kind of uh, products you are selling, um, you, you can easily count who brought in what. So amongst yourselves, who sold more products, who brought in more money, did you divide the products equally? Thank you so much. Uh, we moved as a team. One, two people or three could move with the carton of soda, and three or four could move with the carton of water. Mm -hmm. So you go at once, whatever you sell, you come back and deposit with the chairperson. They were bringing the exact money which was supposed to come out of the product which we had. Because our cotton was at 10,000, so you could bring 12,000, a profit of 2,000 on each cotton of, of I'm soda. I'm having trouble understanding your strategy. Why would I, a border border man and a timber miller, who has a neighbor that I usually pick either water, a nalong of some sort in a restaurant, take a bottled um, bottled water and soda and not water that is in a polythene. You know the, the, the water that is in a polythene bag that's mm -hmm. about 200? Yes. Why would you sell in my analysis a high-end product to a low-income earner or to someone who is in an environment that is not used to that product? Thank you so much. Actually it wasn't easy but it was through persuasive language which the members had we would storm one of the stores in the in the timber and almost to our knees to have them buy why didn't the you soda take these, the, the soda and water to probably an office because an office person can easily buy bottled water because that is how their mindset is what informed that strategy this was our strategy because these people the border borders are on sunshine and they're easily available. The number was great because there are very many. So they were able to buy all the sodas from us and the water easily. When you set out, how much did you expect to make? We didn't have exact money to, 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 to make, 
but we were, we were estimating it to be around 100,000, but we made more than that. Because I think it goes back to what Anne is saying. If you don't set out with a clear strategy, in fact, if you don't have a target from the beginning, then you haven't thought through exactly what it is you want to achieve, and therefore it, you're likely to get frustrated because you didn't go with a very clear target in mind. Do you think that's what happened to you? Um, thank you very much. We had a target, and that's why you would find that in the middle we had to change the strategy, and actually we saw that the camera... So what was the target? Pardon? What, what you said you had a target. What was yes, the target? Yes, we had a target of not going below 100 profit, net profit. After taking back the money, uh, the, the, the credit facility, we had a How target. much was the credit facility? Uh, it was 80, I mean 85. So you, got, you got credit worth um, 85,000 shillings? Um, and uh, 65,000. So the credit was worth 65,000. Yes, Those please. are four cartons. Yes, please. Uh, for uh, not four cartons, four cartons of water. Four cartons of small sodas and one carton of 500 ml soda. Okay, very good. Um, and then how much did you make from selling drinks alone, separate from how much you made from photography? Okay, thank you very much. After the end of the sales, we made a profit of 37,000 from only drinks. Whose the idea was it to sell sodas? The, it was the idea of the group. We and then whose idea was it to sell? We actually developed 10 ideas as a group. Okay, I'm just curious to know. Uh, so you told me that it's the group owned up the idea of selling sodas. Yes. An idea that only gave you 37,000 shillings. And then you realize one hour left to exit uh, the, the, the task that you needed to change strategy. And then you went back to an idea that was photography, right? Mm. Whose idea was this to actually... Judges, I want to say that we never changed the strategy. Okay, so let's we say... We had a double strategy. Okay, good. We go to the market get the sodas, we sell them. After selling the sodas, we pick some money, we go to the studio, we develop some photos, we start selling, and maybe we can earn more money from it. Are you happy with the results or the money that the team made at the end of the day? Actually, we would be happy with it because we hustled to get it. It wasn't very easy, but I think that's what we could make. So your hustle maybe. earned you 149,000 shillings. Yes, please. I'm sure if this is a team, each member had a contribution to make. Yes, please. Now, very quickly, you're going to score each member, starting from the gentleman on, on oh yes, the one in black, uh, starting with him out of a scale of 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the least. Score them and tell me this one here bro did this. Uh, this is the score he gets. Very quickly, start with him. Thank you so much. I would say Isaiah, I would group them how they, they, they were. Isaiah and Patrick... I give them seven out of ten. Then uh, the rest of the members, I give them eight out of ten. And yourself? Myself, eight out of ten. Okay. So, Tim, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, we'll get back to you in terms of the outcome. Uh, but for now, we want to appreciate you for giving the task your very best and for making 149,000 shillings. Much appreciated. We'll get back to you. All the very best. It's now the team lion's turn. They silently hope that the losses made won't cost them. These are lions indeed. No lioness. Lions. You're very welcome. The task was make money without money. And you're here to tell us how did you make the money? Where did you go? How was the process, among other things? As we were moving to execute the task of making money, we said to ourselves, if we could do meet an objective of three, about 300,000, we would be fine. So as we were being driven through the training center, we spotted a, a business operational area. So we told the van to stop after we noted we saw Karere Market. So we said this is a place where we can transact, maybe make some money. So quickly we agreed and we said we are going to do marketing and commission agent. There were so many products. There is Mukene, 
there's chicken, cabbages, tomatoes. But we said, since we have a limited time, if we want to go and try to vent, we focus on all the products, we'll lose time and will not make money. So we focused on three main big products which had maybe can make big margins. And that was chicken, matoke, and mukene, that is silverfish. It was not easy. Immediately, the vendors spotted us. They were suspicious and said, who could these people be? They called in the chairman of the market who came and tried to talk to us, said, who are you? We are not aware that you are supposed to be here. We started talking to them, telling them we want to be here and we are going to make money. So they accepted us. We are targeting working customers and also customers within our network. So the Mukene team, how much money did you make? We managed to make 35,000 out of the Mukene. Mm. But our, our target was 55,000. So what happened? So what actually happened, we, after getting in touch with the people who were the market, people who were in need of that in requesting for the Mukene, and negotiating with the, the supplier, mm. we expected to get a commission of 10,000. After selling, we expected to get a commission of 15,000. So what actually happened there, we discovered that there was a change in the demand there, what they were expecting in terms of quantity. So coming back, putting the consideration of time, we made a deficit of... 4,700. 4, oh. Did you realize when you were selling that you're going to make that deficit? I didn't realize that, but I expected to make a commission. Okay, help me here. You, have, you had the commodities. Yeah. Did you hand them over to somebody else, or did you actually, was it a cash product exchange? I, we, from the supplier. No, no, no. When you went to sell? Oh, when I went to sell, mm -hmm. I had the commodity with me, and I had also the what I used to measure out the amount to be sold to the. So you would sell, and they give you the cash. Exactly. So in that process, yep. while you're selling and getting the cash, yep. What was going on in your mind? What was the, in my mind? I was expecting to make a commission, but the client whom I was selling to she predicted, she expected to also have So what I'm saying here is that you are not forward-looking. You are lost in the moment of making that money and you only realize later that, oops, I made a deficit. I see it is seven of you here and you're supposed to be eight. One, did all the eight participate? Uh, one club was represented by one person. That's why we are seven. Uh, for the, the we and are which seven is of that us. club? Eh? Which one? The pharmacy. Elite social. Elite. Two of your members make a loss. W wasn't there a clear strategy of this is about making money, and we must make sure that if we are putting in ten thousand, we are definitely getting more than ten thousand and not less. Okay. First of all, the Mukene was the first transactions we did, we did when we were just. We, we had not mastered the market. So he, he was talking on phone because I was more on this side. We were communicating. Then he told me, I've spotted the Mukene. I will be able to make a difference of 10,000. So he told me his, uh, the way he was going to execute it. And I gave him a go ahead. So Mr. Chair, it looks like each team, you, you allowed each member to make, each team to make this independent decision. There was no. no central decision making that would efficiently, effectively coordinate whatever that you're going to do. Okay, we were working as a team because after analyzing, I mean, and realizing the different skills and the capacities, and remember we had time was not good on our side. So, those who were going in to sell, because our target was to raise revenue. So, I gave them opportunity to to take some decisions. 
So you empowered uh, your yes, team members. Yes, I empowered them and I, I was following them up. Okay, while at the subject of empowering your team, I just want you to know so as the team in charge of silverfish, thanks to your delegation, made 35,000 shillings. It's a deficit, actually. No, no, they made the a lot. They, 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 they made, okay, total in all, they, because they, 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 they made 34,800. Mm. 34,800. You know, as a leader, you, you, of course, are accountable and responsible for the performance of your team. And this is where rubber hits the road, as a leader, okay? Uh, so, first of all, I like the, you know, the package of the whole team. It's like, you know, the major lion is in the middle. I just want to find out from you. Uh, this is the point where you know you have a football team. Yes. And even when you've won a game, it's always good to get to know productivity per player or exactly. performance per player. Yes. So let's say we're scoring each player out of a scale of 10. Yes. Okay? 10 being the highest, 1 being the least. Yes. Would you kindly please tell the judges, each and every member, what they brought to the table and how you'd rate them as the leader? Starting with him, okay. what I'll your rating would be? Seven percent. I mean, seven out of ten. Okay. What did yeah. he bring to the table? Okay, he 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 made an effort of bringing in money, although he made a loss at the end of it. As a team, we realize when you go into business, you will not always get. Profit. Okay, so that's a seven. And then the next, okay. I give him nine out of ten. Okay. And then him? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Seven out of ten. Nine out of ten. And Were there any conflicts? Because I know where there is a group of seven men and money, and some person does, brings in a deficit, there will definitely be someone asking. How did you resolve that? Okay, there was no conflict. What I told the team members... This is what you expect in business, either a loss or a gain. So we took it very lightly, and then we even gave them support, because they tried to make. Because when they took the silver fish, first of all, they never sold all of it. There is a balance which came back, and also there we expected some profit of the, 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 the silver fish which was returned. Okay. Yes. So, uh, you as a team leader, very final and very quickly, how, how, how would you rate yourself? Because you gave your colleagues nine and then two of them seven. How would you rate yourself? I think I, I will rate myself nine, pass, uh, nine out of ten. Okay. So, thank you very much, Lance. Much appreciated. You'll get to hear from us in terms of the verdict. But all the very best. And uh, we are grateful for the execution of the activity that you're able to carry out. Thank you very much. As the judges take time out to deliberate, let's first find out who is this week's at-home winner of the 400,000 shillings cash prize. Hi, DFC Guru. My name is Mark Amara, a procurement and logistics uh, graduate from Indeja University 2012. Well, my um, entrepreneurship idea is already running. As you can see in the background is uh, a young Matoke. And in the lines, in the spacing there, um, there is... Um, they are onions, yeah. The onions about um, about a month, yes. So basically, my entrepreneurship idea is already running. It's already on ground. So basically, that um, yeah, those are the onions there. So basically, that four hundred thousand would push me in buying drugs and uh, in paying labor because basically labor is the most expensive when it comes to growing onions. Yes, thank you very much. Having listened to all the two teams, the judges must now choose the weaklings. From these, at least one investment club will be eliminated tonight. Welcome back. The lions and the hustlers, we come to the end of the task. And as the rules of the engagement said, one of the investment clubs has to go home. Isn't it? and especially if you are the weakest link. The judges here have a few things that they have analyzed, but they would want to further probe. There are those that are safe, and those that are definitely were still weighing should they, shouldn't they. So I'd like to welcome Michael, first talk about the money, 
and then other judges will plug in. Thank you very much, Anne. Colleagues, um, starting out on the exercise that was hinged towards making money without money, uh, we had some lessons that we learned. And remember, I was saying that if you have the right attitude, the right belief, and a clear strategy, you'll be in position to make money without money. And it gives me the greatest pleasure to let you know that consolidatively, these two teams made over half a million shillings. Now, we have two teams, the Lions and the Hustlers. The Lions made 424,000 shillings, 500. And for me, that then puts them in a driver's seat in terms of this a great activity. So that is well done. <laughs> Hustlers, you know they say that the dream is free, but the hustle is sold differently. You hustled and you're able to get 149,000 shillings. The following clubs that I'll read out, you have made it this far. You have put in a lot of energy, commitment, and your participation in the task is much appreciated. But at this point in time, you'll be going home, knowing full well that you'll be coming back for the next task. So Oyster, you can actually go. Elite, the corporates, Kola Magezi, Kawempe Women Police. Thank you very much. You can go. Team Agri Investment. Yourself. All the very best. So now we're down to you two. Step closer. The judges give the bottom investment clubs one lasting fighting chance to stay in the competition. Some people win, some people lose. But before we send you back home, we are giving you an opportunity to try and defend yourself because we only want one team to go home. So we are going to give you two minutes each and I'll start off with Kasambu. We were able to bring an impact to the, the market, to the, the supplier of silver fish. She was able to sell her produce where she could not reach to those customers. If I was a member of Team Lions and I had people on my team that brought me losses, do you think if you had to be grouped, other people want to keep you because you'll make losses for them? Or are there things that you did that you can actually be able to sell yourself to another group and stay on board. There are things I would do that would keep me to be a member of Team Lion. I would be able to commit myself towards their agreed task and work as a member, a team member. Because I was chosen as the timekeeper of the group and we kept time, that's the first thing. The, f the, second, thi the, the second thing, I, it's me who, who proposed the name Team Hustlers they can testify and it was, it was not opposed. Then the reason why I would like that we stay, uh, we came to learn, we came to learn and we would wish to keep learning up to the, to the last time we shall be here. Another thing, we came to, we came to for a battle, so we came all the way from Kabale so that we can, we can get something and go back deep, deep into, into the village we invest and the youth can get employment and, and all, all, all the other opportunities. Thank you. You're selling the sympathy vote right now. Yes, we are appreciative that you're from Kabale. And that is why we are at Battle for Cash. To empower people, to enlighten people, for all of us, even the judges, to learn and share. But when you start bringing on board the self-pity party, then you're not selling yourself better. Team Kasambu, you participated in a very strong team. But we observe that you as a team, your contribution 
wasn't as high as we had expected. And that's the reason why you are here right now. Team Kabula Mayumba. Your team came in with the lowest amount. And that's a responsibility which you need to take. Because this task was making money with no money. And what we measure is how much money was made. Team Kasavu made over 400,000. You made about 140,000. And you, as a club, you had a responsibility in that team to push that figure higher. And as you have rightly said, this is a battle. And in this battle, we want to find who is going to be the best of the best. The fact that you are here already means that you are a very successful club. That is why you have been selected. However, we have to choose one of you. Team Kabula Mayumba, we have to let you go now. Thank you for your participation. Team Kasamvu, you are safe. But watch out. The judges have made their decision. I am so happy, excited. I can't express it. I led my team and did the best. You need to get little money, but really did the best. Um, I feel so happy because uh, uh, we are, as our investment club, we have gone to the next level and we believe we are going to battle up the last. The task has taught me that there is much that lies ahead. There is a lot of running in this exercise. So I'm excited to remain in the competition such that I can even learn more for my class. But for my team back home, we are happy. We thank you guys for the support you offered us in the field. We can assure you that we are going to represent you fully and we are taking this.